You know, we, we started up the first set with a really nice long point run, and then they kind of heated up, and Morrell hit 500 in that first game. And but but we kept siding out with them. We wouldn't let them score on us, and um, so we won that game. Then we come out, have a nice big point run in the second set. We didn't hit as great in that second set, but uh, we really shut them down. Did some nice things with service pressure today. And then in the third set, they got a little lead, uh, but because of really because of our unforced errors, and the players did a nice job. Came back from that little deficit and. Um, you know, it was a really nice, complete match for a lot of people, and I thought the blocking was really, really good uh, for most of the night. And that player, number 13, she's a good volleyball player. She's the best server in the Mountain West, and she is a very good outside hitter, and they run a very fast tempo thing to her, and we prepared well for it, and I thought we did a nice job. So you said the other night you were only going to have like two hours to prepare for this quick offense. Mm -hmm. How did you feel like you really came out? We did a great was, job. Nice we really did. What, I mean, did you feel like you knew what was coming? Um, somewhat. I mean, they run a very fast offense, so it's still a challenge. But we did work on it a lot in practices to get somewhat used to it. So it was, uh, I guess, expected, but still, you had to work for it. What's, what do you have to do differently with your block against a quick tempo offense as opposed to maybe what you want against the other? Um, be f quick too. I mean, you have to close and work a lot harder to close that block and not get tricked to, or like tricked in the middle and getting stopped because then you're not going to close the block. So. Alex, I did notice you guys took some time. You guys played so well in the first two sets. Before the third set, you know, we're playing the highlights of the match. It seemed like you guys all took the time to kind of enjoy what your prior work had been. Is it nice when nights go this smoothly for you? Yeah, it's always nice when you can get a win, and especially in three. Um, we've been working really hard and just trying to grow each game, so it's nice to see that you know we keep working and getting better. I mean, how important is that for this team? I mean, you've got a big lead in the conference, but you have bigger goals at the end game. So how important is it that push to make sure you're still playing better each night? I mean, anything can happen. Conference isn't over yet. We still have um, teams that we haven't played yet. You know, there's a lot of unknowns. So we just have to keep working on our side of the net and how we can get better because anyone can win on any given night. And, you know, it does help for when we want to the end and in the tournament and working up to that. But we still have to focus on conference. Oh, oh, yes, me then. Acacia, press the mic. She's not here. Uh, did we, yeah, we got Acacia a lot more balls, and I, I would talk to the setters individually about that. I wanted her to get more. She, she went through a period of frustration. She hit some balls out of bounds where she was taking good swings, and they just didn't go in. Um, but, you know, she stayed consistent and played pretty well and ended up with 10 kills, so that's good.